for your CrowdRise project, one person in your group will need to create a CrowdRise page. This is really simple. Go to www.crowdrise.com. Hop over to log in. You don't have an account, so you can go sign up. If you have Facebook already on your laptop, go ahead and click sign up using Facebook. Otherwise, your first name, your last name, your email, confirm your email, make a password, and then click sign up. Now, I already have an account. I'm going to go to log in. I have it through my Facebook, so log in using Facebook. You can add a picture later if you'd like to, but what we want to do today is create a fundraiser. Now remember, the person who does this should be the person who has permission from their parents. You want to start a fundraiser. You are raising money for charity. What is your fundraiser title? Now this should definitely include something about your fund, the charity that you have selected, but it doesn't have to be the exact charity's name. So for example, if I was fundraising for modern day, maybe I want to do something like the Crusaders Fund for Hope. That would go towards our scholarship. So it should have something to do with what you are fundraising for, but it doesn't need to literally be St. Jude's fundraiser. How much are you trying to get? What's your goal? Your goal can technically be anything you want. I recommend you try to shoot a little high, um, but definitely make it something feasible. So let's say I think I can do 100 bucks. About your fundraiser, you can change this later, but try to make it what's going on. What, why do you pick? let each of you pick your own charity? I let you pick something that was important to you. So tell me why here. Okay, this charity is important to me because dot dot dot. Commit. Add a photo. This can be a photo of you, although it will be the main picture for your fundraiser. So I encourage it to be the first picture in your infographic. Um, you can change this later if you want, or you can skip this step for now. You will need a picture in your final. Choose a charity. Okay, what is the name of your charity? If your charity is Be Not Afraid, search. Make sure you pick the right one. So are we friends of John Paul II, Be Not Afraid Center Incorporated in Linden, New Jersey? Is it the one in Tampa, Florida? Is it the one in St. Louis? Um, to create a pool of musicians who are capable in promoting an atmosphere of prayer? That doesn't seem like the one you guys have been researching to me. Okay, I think this is the one you want. I don't know, make sure you double check. So I've selected my charity. Now I'm going to go to my fundraiser. You will get graded based on the pictures that you add, the description that you have, and the video that you include. Okay, so right now my team is just me. You only need one person in your group. If you have more than one person, you can each get added to the team, and I can help you with that later if you need. So, fundraiser. Change the title, date, make your summary, okay, 140 characters or less, and then give me more here. Upload photos, should include your infographic, and upload video. Okay, when you upload a video, you're literally just going to copy and paste the YouTube link. Remember, this video should be short. We're looking for something one minute. If you go over one minute, one minute, 30 seconds. We want other people to help you fundraise. We are not allowing offline donations. Cool. Um, and you can customize a thank you email if you want. Okay, dear donators, thank you so much for helping me, et cetera, et cetera.
here's a direct way for you to share this link on Facebook, on Google, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, or via email. You also just have the link that you can use. This is where you can invite team members. Again, if everybody in your group wants to be on the same team, that's a way to do it. And then you're done. I'm going to give you a checklist on Haiku on what your Crowdrise video needs to have. Please remember that this needs to be complete by April 19th. Not April 19th at midnight, guys. April 19th, okay? 7 a.m. You're giving me a link to your site, which remember we found here, so that I will see your video, I will see your description of your fund, and I will see your infographic. If you would like to include other pictures, you may, but make sure you use Creative Commons pictures you are allowed to use, pictures within the public domain, or pictures you have personally taken. Any questions, please let me know.